All right, so it's April 20th today. Happy 420. I've done a little bit of work on um, some other things for the update videos. And I did my day one of Backyard Adori, Backyard Yamadori, the tree collection. But that didn't really count as a repotting video. So I'm gonna do these two trees real quick. I've got cedar number two, small little one with some interesting movement, and cedar number three, covered in moss. So, yeah, I'll reuse this moss for them. I just want to get them in slightly larger pots, these ones. I'll use these small ones um, for other things, planting seeds in, probably. I just, you know, I wanted to see if these trees could keep growing in these really tiny pots, and, or, you know, if I could keep them growing anyways, and I could. They grew up a little bit, but I don't really want to have too many, you know, little tiny mame trees. So I have my other one, cedar number one, that'll be a tiny one. These ones can grow a little bit bigger. So I'll put them in these slightly larger pots and now this one's got a lot of surface roots because of, because of the moss that was on the surface. So I'll just do number two first. So funny repotting such a tiny little tree, tiny little root system. Again, that pretty coarse perlite in the bottom. Not too much, but still a tiny bit. Tiny bit too much. Pretty good root development in here, nice and fine. I'll only cut what I have to to get it fit into the pot and whatever tap root or the stick one there, I'll take that out and then just shorten everything else. Yeah, so this thick one here is the tap root. When I planted it, I didn't cut it, I just Turned it off at an angle like that. Um, so this year I can get rid of it and let everything else take over. So I'll just cut it back to this junction here. Nice. And shorten what's left. Okay. Probably a little shorter than I needed to make it, but that's fine. Oops. So yeah, I said the last cedar I did, the little mame one, I said that was number one, but actually it was just number one of the 21 cedar seedlings I potted up this time last year. Overall in my new numbering system, that one is cedar number three. 
which will make this one cedar number four. one's a little bit wobbly. Because I did end up cutting off a decent amount of root there. But I think once I water it in, it'll be okay. It's pretty good for now. Get a little bit of moss on there later. Okay. On to the next one, which is going to be cedar number five. Hmm. Not as much roots in here. Not as many roots. Still pretty decent though. This light's actually pretty good for camera work late in the day, just just about sunset. coming off up there and then a decent one coming off there so I'm gonna take the tap root off down to there I think right here and then just a tiny bit shorter that'll be enough Yeah, I'm not going to do any pruning on either of these. There's not really much to prune. I'll just let, let the roots get established in these slightly larger pots. And then I'll give them a prune either later in the season or this time next year when I repot them again. I can. I don't know if I'll have time next year or even if, you know, I'll be able to finish all my repotting this year. I have lots of trees actually, even though I've only been doing this a few years. I managed to collect a number of nice burdens <laughs> that'll keep me busy for the rest of my life. Thank you. 
Okay. We'll just give them a little spin together. The pot's not really stable. So, we've got cedar number four on the left and cedar number five on the right. Not really much to see in terms of, you know, movement or anything. They're just very young plants, basically seedlings, even though they're more than a year old now. They were in those tiny little pots. There's a comparison. So, yeah. They should hopefully get their roots established soon and take off this year. Get a bunch of growth in. For the, for the 21 cedar seedlings that I planted last year, I think 20 of them are alive. And I'm going to eventually plant them all into a forest once I have the capabilities to have a large forest planting. And then, you know, I'll go through it on another video, of course, but the 17 pine seedlings that I planted, I believe all of them are still alive. I'm also going to put them in a forest all together. 17 is a good number favorite number of my wife and I, so yeah, that'll be a good one. But that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Cheers.